If you've been a professional driver for any length of time, chances are good that you've had to manage your tractor trailer in some pretty extreme weather. Fog, rain, wind, snow, and ice can all turn a routine driving assignment into a nerve-wracking trip. Your best defense when dealing with these extreme conditions is knowledge. Knowledge of your equipment, knowledge of the forecast, knowledge of the route you'll be traveling, and knowledge of how extreme weather can affect driving conditions. In this program, we'll talk about some of the keys to driving safely in extreme weather, including fog, rain, wind, snow, and ice. But remember, these conditions don't occur in isolation. They can occur together to make your driving even more challenging. Whatever weather conditions you may face, your first step is to be properly prepared. Preparation starts with a thorough pre-trip inspection. While each part of your standard inspection is important, it's crucial to check things like antifreeze levels, wipers and washer fluid, tire pressure and tread, emergency equipment, and lighting systems if there's a chance you'll be running into less than ideal driving conditions. Also, make sure the radio works so you can listen to local forecasts and that your cell phone is fully charged. You definitely don't want to find yourself stranded or caught in bad weather with a dead cell phone. Fog is the most common visibility challenge you'll face when driving. Fog limits your ability to see ahead and to judge distances, and also limits the ability of other drivers to see you. Most important thing you can do when driving in fog is simply slow down. While fog alone doesn't affect traction, you still need to consider how long it would take you to stop your truck if there was a stalled car, an animal, or a crash scene ahead of you. In general, 20 to 30 miles per hour should be your maximum speed when driving through fog. However, if you're driving in dense fog and you can't see at least three vehicle lengths ahead, slow down even further to 10 to 15 miles per hour. In order for you to see ahead and be seen by other drivers, keep your lights on. Low beams work best in foggy conditions. No matter where you live, sooner or later, you find yourself driving in rain. Even light to moderate rain can significantly reduce visibility. So you need to slow down, use your wipers, and keep your lights on using the low beams. In heavy rain, consider finding a safe place to pull off the road until the rain lets up. In addition to affecting your visibility, rain can have a serious impact on your traction as well. Rainwater can mix with the oil and dirt on the road to create an almost ice-like condition, reducing your speed and increasing the distance between you and the vehicle ahead is the best way to deal with rain. Heavy rain can also cause your vehicle to hydroplane. Hydroplaning occurs when a thin layer of water prevents your tires from making full contact with the road surface. This leads to low traction and can cause you to lose control of your truck. To minimize the possibility of hydroplaning, be sure your tires have a good amount of tread, are properly inflated, and, no surprise, slow down. Windy conditions, especially high winds, can be a hazard in and of themselves, but combine high winds with rain, snow, or ice, and watch out. Be prepared by researching forecast wind speeds before you hit the road. When traveling in high winds, watch for visual cues like bending trees, whipping flags, flying debris, and other vehicles having trouble holding the road. When wind speeds exceed 50 miles per hour, maintaining control of your tractor trailer becomes a significant challenge. At 60 miles per hour, it becomes nearly impossible. Combine these wind speeds with other difficult weather, such as rain, snow, ice, and even poor visibility, and you're better off waiting in a safe place before you continue driving. In a large portion of the country, colder temperatures mean snow. And falling and accumulating snow can have a profound impact on both visibility and traction. Be aware of the current weather conditions and the forecast for snow along your route. Like heavy rain and thick fog, snow can obscure visibility significantly. 
so having working wipers with good quality blades and a powerful windshield defroster is essential. Using your low beams will help you see ahead and will help others see you. Adjust your speed to conditions and keep an adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you. Using a lower gear will help maintain traction, especially on hills. Try to extend the following distance between you and the vehicle ahead to four to 10 times what you'd use on dry pavement. The extra distance will give you additional time to react to changing traction conditions due to snow. Snow on the road and low temperatures can easily lead to icy conditions, especially on bridges and overpasses. And while ice is most common in snowy conditions, it can also be present during mist, drizzle, freezing rain, and heavy fog when temperatures drop below freezing. If you can get off the road safely and wait until conditions improve, that's often the best approach to dealing with ice. If you must drive, slowing to 10 or 15 miles per hour will give you more control and some margin for safety when reacting to an icy patch. Dropping down to a lower gear can also help improve traction in icy conditions. Even on days when visibility and road conditions are good, black ice can present a treacherous hazard. Contrary to its name, black ice is not really black. It's a thin layer of glazed ice on the road surface that's virtually transparent, allowing the black road below to remain visible. This means the road appears normal and the loss of traction can catch you by surprise, especially at night when the temperature starts to drop. Knowing the conditions that cause black ice and carefully observing the vehicles ahead can help you anticipate when it might be present. Being prepared for and having the knowledge to deal with challenging weather conditions is not only important, it could save your life. Prepare by thoroughly inspecting your tractor trailer with special attention to the equipment that ensures effective traction and good visibility. Check the weather forecast along your route so you know what to expect. If visibility or traction is compromised, slow down and increase your following distance. And remember, if the weather conditions are challenging for you, a professional driver, imagine how difficult it is for others who don't have your training or experience. It's one more reason to slow down and be alert for the actions of others. Ultimately, if extreme weather conditions cause you to not feel fully in control of your tractor trailer, get off the road until conditions improve and you can complete your trip safely.